Hi, and welcome to the 2017 Musician's Notepad Basic Recap. Well, sort of. I started out trying to do one like I did last year. Hi, welcome to our Basic 2016 Recap. I took a GoPro and I started trying to capture stuff, and after a while I just kinda stopped doing it. And I think it's not because I didn't know how or want to show you what was going on there, but I kinda did that last year, at least a little bit. And I wanted to kind of talk about what the experience will be over a long time for you at PASIC. So depending on who you are and what you do and what you're interested in, your view of PASIC is going to change from year to year. The first year I went, I had never been to a drum clinic. And so seeing some of those was neat, but believe it or not, it wasn't what I was amped up for. What I was amped up for when I was there was seeing the expo floor. I had never seen all the companies and all the stuff together where you could go around and try it out and buy things and get cool deals on stuff. That really was part of it. The next year was the year where I started to really pay attention to the clinics and catch different things. And specifically, I've talked before about going to see Glenn Kochi play. Uh, it was the debut of his monkey chant uh, piece and that had a big change on my life and in my decision to go back to school. But what it also had at the very end, you know, I just watched this man do this amazing thing, and then he goes, the best thing about here is going to check out all sorts of different things. Uh, you never know what you're gonna get. Just walk around from room to room. If something looks weird and different, go check that out. So he mentioned something that was going on the next day that did sound weird and different and I wanted to see, and I saw a clinic called Gongtopia. And it was awesome. It was a dude that played a wall of gongs. It was really neat. And so you can see that kind of thing there. You're not gonna see gongtopia just about anywhere else, right? So you can go around and you can check out those things. And then I had didn't go for a, a fair amount of years. I went back to school and I think I went once when I was there and I was just kind of busy doing some things and I, I didn't really hop in. And then I started going again and uh, particularly at the near the end of school and when I, um, got uh, out of school uh, checking out the percussion instruments that I didn't play before. You know, all of a sudden it was about the marimbas, you know? Like, here's all these different marimba companies when before, I mean, they were all nice, but I didn't know what I was looking at. So, you know, that changed. And then seeing mallet clinics as opposed to drum set clinics, you know, those types of things. So your opinion changes over the years. Something that's been really huge there over the last couple of years is the marching band thing. And I bet a lot of you, if you're younger, have gone there looking for the marching band show, the competition. And the fact is that Band of America finals is always that same weekend in the same place. They use, uh, the competition itself takes place at Lucas Oil Stadium, but they do a lot of pre-stuff and a lot of like staging at the convention center. So all that stuff is happening all over the place there. In fact, this year was harder than ever just uh, navigating places because I'd get caught in between groups of band kids, which is totally cool, but frustrating on some level. I'm just like, ah, more band kids. So your opinion is going to change of what you do. I mentioned last year I liked going to ed panels, which is very true. And for instance, like the best thing that happened to me was not even going to the education panel, but going to the education meeting and watching them, I'm watching a meeting. It sounds like the most boring thing ever, but I heard a lot of cool things and I met a lot of cool people. It started to become a lot about networking for me, you know, and I, I hate that, uh, I hate the sound of that. Uh, but it's true. I, I am trying to take a larger role in the education of percussion uh, and in the industry of that uh, and the community of that. And so those types of things are becoming very interesting to me, you know, and I did make some inroads to some very cool things and some very uh, awesome things I want to show you. That's what I want to say about PASIC is just that you need to uh, go and experience it for yourself. Uh, to someone who has no clue what I'm sa saying, I usually tell them that PASIC is the best thing in a world of best things if you're a drummer. So you should check it out. You should go for yourself. Uh, it's going to be in Indianapolis again next year. Uh, it's always this like second-ish weekend of uh, November. So make sure to uh, try and go to that. Uh, this video this week is in lieu of the uh, handout that is coming next week, hopefully. Uh, I got delayed just because I'm shooting a video with that one, so those of you that only see the video content know that I actually make up a handout to, you know, help you with your percussion students and help them make them uh, better percussion students, make you a better teacher, etc. I've got one of those coming out next week, and it has a video attached to it, so, um... 
uh, I got sick right before PASIC and I shot it, but I didn't get to edit it. And then I was at PASIC and now it needs to come out in a day or two uh, when you're watching it. And I'm heading out of town again after this. So I'm just kind of struggling to get everything together for the end of this month. Uh, so we will have that to you very soon. And yeah, uh, other than that, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those things. Let's hit it.